first uh, mass start men this season. We have with us the winner from Norway, Johannes Tinius Bur. Second place went to Quentin Fillon Maillet from France. And third place representing the Russian Federation, Evgeny Garanichev. Johannes, is it correct to say that uh, yesterday you skied to success and today you shot your way to success? Yeah, today I both shot and skied my way to success. It was very, uh, yeah, my best race ever. So uh, I'm just very happy. <laughs> I can believe so. When you said you, you had your best race ever, what you especially improved was this season. You have been struggling from time to time when you came to the shooting with a comfortable and big lead. So what went better today than in the uh, past races this season? I wished for... Uh, Santa, a clean shooting, and since it's Christmas, it looks like so I've, I've been a good kid this year. It, it does, definitely. <laughs> now you've won six out of eight competitions, three of three here. You go home over Christmas with the yellow bib under the Christmas tree. Um, so what, what do you make of this first trimester? What is your general evaluation of the last the three stages? Mm, it's been um, tough competitions, I think, uh, different... Uh, um, conditions both in the snow and wind, uh, sun, raining and snow, so we have got to test uh, everything I think, so you, uh, you had to make new plans for each weekend and uh, this has uh, uh, been interesting to, to see and I think both Pukluka, Hokfilsen and Novemesto have made a really good job. So what is uh, the plan now for you until Oberhof gets you getting back home and how do you make sure to, to stay healthy during the break? Um, yeah, that's, try to not think so much about this. Um, but I go to Shushuan in my cabin and uh, try to just uh, train slow and make uh, nice trainings on the mountains. Congratulations again and a Merry Christmas and a good start into the new year. Uh, Quentin, this is your third podium in the mass start in, in your career. Uh, how, did, how much did you enjoy the fight men against men today? I'm, uh, I'm very happy of this race today because uh, I know I can shoot, shoot good and uh, ski, ski fast, but uh, it's a little bit hard to go on the podium uh, for, um, uh, for, for, for take a good race because I... I do my best, but I, uh, I don't control the, uh, the performance of uh, all the athletes. Then, uh, it's, this is hard, but I'm very happy to, to finish uh, this first part of uh, World Cup like this. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, I have no rope for expand my emotion because uh, I also want to dedicate this race of my uh, stepfather. He did uh, last uh, last um, last week. Um, um, they might think uh, a lot of, of my uh, of, the, of, of the family and uh, on my girlfriend. Uh, that's uh, that's a hard uh, hard part uh, of, um, of of the life. But uh, I'm happy to to dedicate this race of uh, my stepfather. A sincere commiseration said to that, but with this uh, special motivation, it really worked out uh, perfectly today. And also throughout the season, you said um, you tried to be more consistent uh, in, in your races. Now it's your second podium this season. You're top in the top 10 overall so far. Yeah. So do you think you've already approached or reached these goals, or where do you see yourself on your way? Uh, I have more, more um, I'm more stable on, uh, on the ski. Uh, on the shooting also, I have found uh, some big problems during this summer. Then uh, I have uh, more, uh, uh, more stability of my shooting, and that's uh, very important for me. Then uh, now I can think I can uh, be more and more time uh, on the top five uh, during the World Cup. I want to try. That's my, uh, this is my goal. And um, we... Uh, Okay. <laughs> it, ha, what role does the team play in this? We have seen a very strong uh, French team in the first three, three stages of this World Cup with four of you guys on the podium and four in the top ten of the overall. So how much does this help you on your way? Uh, this is a very good thing, I think, because uh, 
every team are better than uh, women. If if we want to to be better, that uh, my uh, my colleague in the French team, I must to be more fast, uh, sh better on the shooting. Then uh, every team uh, go uh, a step uh, step high. Uh, then uh, I'm I'm really happy to to be in this team because uh, I think we have a very very good. Uh, Atmosphere and uh, this is like uh, some friend go on the, on the travel. We 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 have very funny atmosphere. Thank you very much, Thank Quentin. You. Congratulations, Evgeny. Uh, third place um, after three years, uh, almost three years. You're back on the podium. How does it feel? Evgeny, спустя почти три года вы вновь вернулись на подиум. Как ощущения? Но это очень приятное ощущение оказаться опять на подиуме, сделать на стопроцентно отработать на рубеже и, в принципе, завоевать медаль. It feels really great to be back on podium, really, and uh, especially with my clean shooting, and uh, I'm very happy to manage to get this medal today. You just made it to the mass start yesterday with a very strong pursuit. Uh, did, uh, did this give you confidence for today? Благодаря вчерашнему успешному выступлению в гонке преследования вы получили те необходимые очки, которые позволили попасть в масс старт. Это придало уверенности для сегодняшней гонки? Я думаю, да, потому что спринт неудачный был в плане стрельбы, стрельбы и масс старте пришлось собраться и показать хороший результат, что помогло мне отобраться в мастарт в 30 лучших. И сегодня также выходил, просто делал ту работу, на которую я способен, на которую я работал все лето, и удалось отработать чисто и попасть на подиум. Это очень приятно. Definitely yes, uh, because uh, sprint race wasn't very successful for me. I wasn't lucky on the shooting range. That's why I tried to get myself together during the pursuit race, and it went well. So today, uh, to be honest, I just decided to make what I can do well, everything what we trained during the summer to shoot well and to ski fast, and that's why I managed this. How difficult was uh, the final loop with Canton uh, overtaking you quite quickly and then Aunt coming uh, up from behind? Расскажите, пожалуйста, про заключительный отрезок дистанции, когда вы боролись за подиум. Ну да, Квентин, я уходил второй, и нас хорошо вели по дистанции и тренеры, и специалисты. Конечно, я думал, что там за Квентином еще идет кто-то, но в итоге казалось, что между четвертым местом было 13 секунд, и надо было просто подхватить тот темп, который задавал Квентин. И немножко мне получилось это сделать, и на последнем километре я понимал, что я претендую на подиум. И это мне еще придало сил, чтобы доработать до да, финиша. Well, I, I left the last shooting range uh, on the second place, and uh, during the last loop I was well informed uh, by my coach. Uh, but the guys were actually pretty fast, uh, and... Um, uh, one kilometer before the finish, um, I was sure that uh, I need to keep the speed, and only that could uh, help me to stay on the body. Thank you. Are there any further questions? Seeing none, this concludes the press conference. Thank you very much.